Hey guys, this is Solo Scriptura. Uh, we're going to be playing through another league today of Legacy Burn. Um, this list has changed just a little bit since the last uh, league I went through recently. Um, mostly, the biggest difference is I'm running the fourth Fire Blast now. Um, a lot of people were, were saying I, I should really try the fourth Fire Blast and see what I think, so I'll go ahead and, and see what I can do with um, four Fire Blasts. Uh, my biggest issue with Fire Blast is. It makes some of your opening hands less than ideal, and it can single-handedly kind of make a, an opening hand bad if you have two copies of them. Um, in the late game, it is kind of nice to be able to have an, a, a four blast, a four damage um, spell off the top of your deck to do some damage um, at instant speed with, which is you know when you don't really need the mountains anymore. But in the early game, it's it's kind of sad to see a second copy. Um, the other difference is I've brought one of the Exquisite Firecrafts in the main. Um, I don't necessarily think the Exquisite Firecraft is like a really great main deck card right now, but um, we're trying to get a copy of Pyro Stack Pillar in the sideboard, so that's the, the reasoning behind that. Uh, I took out both copies of Light at the Stage, just going to see what I think about the deck without it. It's more than likely probably fine. Um, the main reason I was running Light at the Stage at all is because uh, when the card first came out, I was running three copies, and I seemed to to be doing pretty well with the card in the deck, so I wanted to keep some number in there. Um, other than that, there's not really any differences. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, take this list and run it through a league. All right, we're here for the first game, and we've won the die roll. Uh, this hand's pretty good. We'll go ahead and keep it. Um, the biggest issue is whether or not Price of Progress will be good, but we're running it in the main deck right now because we think it's good. So we'll go ahead and keep it. Um, Farewell could be the best card in our deck against whatever we're playing against. And City of Traders is a good sign, especially if this is Eldrazi. Oh, this is Sneak and Show. Okay. Um, Price of Progress will still do some work here. Um, hopefully this Eidolon will also hurt our opponent. Um, I don't know if we'll live long enough to get these Price of Progresses. She's just not shuffle. That's not a good sign for us. Discarding Sneak Attack is also not very good for us. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Another Volcanic Island. Hopefully this doesn't get Force of Will, but it's looking like it's going to. Um, that's at least somewhat good news for us, I suppose. I assume that this is going to be a show and tell, at least putting in a sneak attack, if not an Ember Cool or a Crystal Brand. Okay, it's Omniscience. And we're just dead. I think. Let me see. I guess I'll choose these permanents to sacrifice. Yeah, this is kind of the worst matchup for us, but there's nothing we can really do about that. Um, we'll bring in Red Elemental Blast to combat there. Uh, potential Force of Wills if there's an important card like a Ensnaring Bridge we're trying to put into play. Um, and we'll also bring in the Power Stack Pillar just for the cantrips. Um, Sulfuric Vortex is for Gristle Brand to at least turn that into not necessarily a victory. Um, they can't really afford to pay the 7 life against us typically, so... It's kind of nice. Uh, we'll bring out the Rift Bolts because those are slow, and we'll probably take out the Price of Progresses as well because they don't have to play um, the non-basics against us. And we'll probably just run it like this. Um, price of Progress isn't really going to be super necessary. Our creatures go a pretty far distance in this game, usually. Uh, I cannot keep the sand. Can't keep the sand either. We have to keep the sand, and the sand's actually okay. Um, we'll keep this one. I think the Fire Blast, unfortunately, has to go on the bottom of the deck. I think it's just not realistically good enough for us. And I, th I don't know if we want to keep the Swift Spear or not. I kind of think I do. Our opponent has kept six. I 
Sneak attacks on top. That's probably not a good sign. Man, we're bad at this game. Um, hmm. This is where Instrang Bridge would be really nice. I think we'll put Pyrosec Pillar into play because it just costs more. There's the Vortex, so we're not just dead necessarily. We would have really liked to have had that um, right now instead of the way we do have things, but. So we're probably just dead here again. I think they'll possibly show until here. And that would at least put, allow us to put Vortex into play, which would actually be quite nice. Okay. Yeah, no, this is actually okay for us. Potentially. I'm assuming this is an Emrakul he's putting into play. So, yeah, not the best thing in the world. I don't see any reason for him to not swing here, but maybe he won't. No, there's a, no real reason for him to not swing his... Or, I mean, to swing, because he's got the Zimmer cool. That's just going to kill us. Yeah, so if we just... If we bolt him, he goes down to six, down to four. Um... Because, I mean, he's just going to attack with both of his guys and we'll just die. Unfortunately, that's how that goes, but uh, we'll try to get our opponent in the next round.